All right, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to take out some tree stumps. Now it's a tool I haven't used in a while, which I'm excited about. We are gonna use the One Plus brushless reciprocating saw. Now I just got back from Home Depot. Uh, my friend Michael over there, I returned his uproar to him. So what we and he guided me on what blades to use. So we're gonna use the Diablo 12 inch pruning uh, pruning blade. And so these teeth are ginormous. It comes with two, it's $11 for two blades. So I was gonna use this, just the blades that I got, but I figured get longer blades because I wanna make this as easy as possible. So we are, these, oh wow, this is huge. That is huge. Those teeth are awesome. So, we are going to attach this to that. We are going to use an HP battery. We're going to use a 6 amp hour battery for this to work. And, we're going to see what it can do. Now, I have like five uh, tree stumps in the that I'm going to be taking out for the first section of uh, the area that we cleared out. And we are gonna see if this majorly helps the task to do, to perform so much easier. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Seriously. Make sure it's on there good. And it is fantastic. Now, like I said before, uh, in the previous video, I am going to be majorly working. Well, I'm, I'll be outside. I don't need safety glasses because I will be wearing these, which these are actually stronger than, the, than uh, these are. So I'll be wearing sunglasses outside so I won't be needing safety glasses, but I will be needing some gloves. So we this, I'm, without even digging, I'm going to see if I could take one out with just this blade and just pretty much cut a circle around it to see if I could pull that pull one of the stumps out now it's not these are like bush stumps they're not like trees they're not like the roots aren't like 20 feet long these are small bush stumps so let's see if we can do this do this without any shovels at first so as you can see that this is a big one so we're gonna see if we can do this without shovels.
this thing is actually going really well. So I got I uh, put another six amp hour battery in there. The uh, one I just used was at six. I used 50% uh, of the other one. So we got a full battery now. So I can smell a little bit of I can smell uh, a little bit of a. Uh, motor right there just working doesn't smell burning just smells like it's a working motor So, what I'm cutting out there is some thick, dense uh, roots. They are old. And so, it's uh, even the, the Diablo blade, like I can feel the motor's really hot right now. And so, it's, do, it's doing a lot of work. So, I saw a little bit of smoke. So, I'm going to let this cool off and blow it out really quick and just so I don't fry the motor out. Now, what I am doing is probably what this isn't designed to do. Realistically, I should be out there with an axe, you know, with with how uh, dense this uh, that wood is. But I want to give this a shot, see what happens. Now I can feel that it is it's not hot to the touch, but it is warm. But I, I smell a little bit of smoke, so I'm just gonna let this cool off. Especially it's it's hot around this area. I'm not sure if it's the mud, if the mud is getting in there, which I don't see it. I don't think mud is getting in there. So I'm just going to cool this off really quick and let it sit and then I'll continue working with something else. Alright, so... difference in the HP though and right here that was, didn't hit the trigger alrighty so the 4 amp hour battery is not able to cut this at a full charge. So what I have now, I have a 3 amp hour battery at a full charge. And we're going to see if we can continue to cut this root. Yes we can. Easily.
up our battery. Easily. Easily. Wow, that, there is a big difference between the HP. There we go. Yep. That's right. Let's see if we can get that up. That'd be awesome. Is that coming out like that? This up a little bit more. <sighs> Maybe. Oh, there we go. We are gonna we are gonna end this video by chopping these off. Okay, so after using this for a while on those stumps, I got five of them out out of seven, I think, or I got, I, I have two more left. So uh, this actually, this did majorly help with taking them out. Uh, the only thing is, is I seriously doubt that I was supposed to do what I did on that first big stump to where you use this for a while and just chop it in half. I'll just chop it into chunks. I think that's a little bit too much for the density of the wood. But yeah, using this for that long, uh, straight continuously without giving it a break for a while, it will run the motor out. Because if this is designed for doing doing a couple of uh, chopping the easy stuff up, you know, like, a, like a th even thick branches, stuff like that's easy. This is digging into mud. Now, I don't know if the mud is being brought back into the machine. It might be, I might have to take that apart and just investigate on if it did any damage. But it's it seriously still works. It works very well. It doesn't really smell. It doesn't, it just smells like it's being used. You know, and uh, it's, it, this thing is powerful. Now, there is a big difference when it comes to the HP battery and a regular four amp hour battery. The four amp hour battery couldn't do the uh, couldn't do the trick. A three amp hour HP battery did better than the four amp hour battery did. So the HP part uh, of the brushless part uh, brushless system seriously makes a big difference. And my tools are dirty. And yeah. Well, what I got to do is I got to replace the 4 amp hour batteries to 4 amp hour HP batteries so I could uh, do what I got to do with those and use those as well, you know, like with the lawnmower, with the brushless system because so many projects uh, headed my way. And, uh, and yes, right now I'm just doing, uh, it's, uh, before I fall off, get, some, get the lawn stuff done. I only did, we only got done, almost done a third of the sections of the of the back of that uh, backyard which were uh, I talked to my neighbor I got permission to cut some trees down so we're actually gonna cut trees down that are along the back of that area and so yes it's gonna be it's gonna be good this thing did a fantastic job though and uh, the smell that I'm smelling just might be a regular wear and tear now in the beginning it smoked a little bit it's the second i saw a little bit of smoke i stopped 
That might have just been the blade hot from the smoking from the wood, with just friction, just because of full force and it was going through a, a couple of thick roots at once. And uh, and yeah, so it uh, the blade uh, it's been sitting for a while, so the blade is not hot. This thing is awesome though. When it comes to a regular use, this thing is will perform the exact way you expect it to. It will do extremely well. It's not hot right now. It's 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 cool. It's been sitting for like the past uh, hour. I just took a shower, so uh, so yeah. The HP part of this does a major difference compared to the, a regular four amp hour battery. And a 3 amp hour battery killed a 4 amp hour battery. Go figure. And the 6 amp hour battery killed would kill the 3 amp hour battery. So this thing is awesome. I love it. It's to see and my tools do get dirty. I am going to clean this later on today and make it look brand new. And so that's just what I do. Uh, just like this. This had this had a bunch of fingerprints and grease all over it because I was using this underneath the car and saw the trailer. This was filthy, you know, it was, uh, black scratches on the corners. And so I cleaned. I took like about 20 minutes, cleaned the hell out of it, and made it made it look brand new. So that's what I do. They, they, these tools are being used not as much as you might use them, but they are being used to a certain uh, ex to a certain extreme. I am just make them look nice afterwards, so that's that's that. So this is the demonstration of the Ryobi brushless uh, reciprocating saw. It is good. I'll put the model number in the uh, I'll put the model number in right now, and I do recommend this one. They do make four other versions, I believe, or three. I think they make three other versions of the Korean series. So, so yeah, it's good. So. Get, uh, my Ryobi tools are getting the job done, and they're getting them done very well and easier than it would be without them. So, this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.